Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of, well, Drizzly, Delray Beach, Florida, with your 1 p.m. update. And currently have a slightly mixed bag out here, that mix coming from the semis, that are up about six points, so two tenths of a percent. Otherwise, all the other U.S. indices trading to the downside. Dow's off 43, S&P 10, NASDAQ 130, Russell's off 11, gold's off $6, silver's down 31 cents, lights be crude off 48 pennies, nights of gas up 12 cents, she's trading at 882, and a 30 year treasury down six ticks, 136.24 is the current print. Let's go take a look at our nine panel market update chart we begin by take a look at the es mini you can see the resistance you can see descending trend line resistance the center of its weekly profile resistance so the es mini just doesn't have enough strength right now to take that level out you got the spot volatilics index which a couple days ago formed a td9 count bottom if price closes below 2388 it'll negate that signal and suggest to move lower to 2234 and that could then give the es mini the strength that it needs to try to overcome that resistance until it does resistance is resistance if you take a look at the nq its resistance zone is really up at the top of its weekly and daily profile that's in a 12 945 ish type range out there just a sideways move today us dollar index is not moving sideways it's moving higher it formed a td9 count bottom a couple of weeks ago price should now target the 103 334 level gold what's it doing just moving sideways like it has for about two to three weeks out there same with silver trading out right now at about 2178 but uh, you can see the real resistance level for silver is 2226 if price can take that out then it's off to the races the race is being 2276 Light sweet crude, even though it's pulling back a bit, it's still above the top of its bear structure daily profile, one that formed a couple of days ago. A second close above this level. This level, by the way, would be one. 120.99. We're trading at 121.66. The second close above that is going to suggest a move to the 126 level. Natural gas having a nice morning, so to speak, but it still has got a TD9 count top that has led to basically a sideways consolidation as well. And the 30 year Treasury trading down at support. That level is 138.01. The current print is 137.29. That's the bottom of weekly profile. So it'll really be dependent upon tomorrow's close. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you're off to start your Thursday. Have a terrific one. Thanks for joining us, and we'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care now.